as a beginner, this auto key mistake can cost you waste a lot of time. Now, why is it? Because as a beginner, you are not conscious about what you are doing and nobody has ever told you that this is what you have to take care about when you start your animation. So let's understand what exactly I'm talking about. Let's get into the video. If you see this, this is the viewport of Maya. And on the screen here, you have the time slider. And at the bottom of the screen, there is an icon, second last icon, which is like a circle and there is a plus sign inside, right? So that is the auto key button. Now it is turned on. That is why it is red. And when you click here, it will get turned off. And now the red color is gone. So what is the importance of this key? And why is it so important for animators to keep it turned on? And what happens if you don't keep it turned on? And how do you waste a lot of time if this is the mistake you are doing? And as a beginner, you make this mistake for sure because you are not conscious about the process, how to do it, right? So if you forget to turn it on, because by default, it is turned off, you have to turn it on once you start using Maya. So here is the character. Now, suppose if this is turned off, now the auto key is not turned on. You see, if I change anything in the character, now we don't have any key. We have not registered any pose for the character. Okay, because if you see on the time slider, there is no key, you can't see any red mark. So that means whatever you will do now, it will take the position. Okay, if I do these changes, now it will be as it is the way I'm creating the pose. You don't need to worry now. But this is turned off, auto key is turned off. So manually, you will have to key this pose, right? If you want to animate, if it is only a pose, then it's fine. But if you want to animate this, then I will select all the controls. I'll deselect the global and I'll hit a key that is S. So now when you hit key, that means all these controls are registered at frame one on this pose. So whenever you come to frame one, this pose, you will see all the time whenever you come to frame one. Okay. So that. When you key, that means that that pose is registered. But now you see this auto key is turned off. So now when I move the sliders, right, for animating, you have to move the time slider and then you have to pose so that it shows the transition from one pose to another, right? So now if the auto key is turned off and if I am moving the hands, in any position, whatever, this is just an example. So you don't need to actually see the pose, how the pose is right or not. So it goes back to this position. Maybe we can rotate some little bit of head. Okay. So this is the thing. Now, if I do this, so what should happen? It should animate, right? from that pose to this pose, it should get animated in this way. But the moment you just click on a different frame, this pose will disappear and it will go back to the pose which was registered earlier. That means whatever the key will be there before this, it will take that position. So now we have only the frame one key. That means if I even click on seventh frame, it will go back to first pose. You see, I clicked on seventh frame and there is no animation, nothing happened. So as a beginner, you forget to turn on this option. So what happens is you think that you are animating, but whatever changes you make, it's just a waste of time, right? You just keep on wasting time on the pose and you forget to key, right? If this is, if you have to animate anything, with the auto key turned off, 
that means on every change you have to hit a key that is s so if i do this pose i have to hit s and again if i do any change this change will not get registered again i will have to put s that means on every single movement you have to hit a s key if this is turned off right now see now it will animate but if i go to eighth frame and if i change the pose now if i'm suppose again adjusting but now even there is a key it will not take this pose it will take the older pose which was registered right you see it got, went back to the same pose because i did not hit a manual key and auto key is turned off so the pose is not getting registered on every change every minute change you have to hit a s key right so that is like not efficient way you cannot press s on every change of position this way you waste a lot of time in doing the pose and if you forget then even you waste time because this pose will never come back even if you undo it will not come back right if you forgot to key and if you try to undo that let me undo it so that it can come back to that pose and i can hit a key s but it will not happen see if you do undo undo can only be done when that pose is registered right if that pose is registered only then you can do so if i go to 13th position now it's not registered right i won't hit a key s to show you that how it works now if i go to 8th frame it will go to the 8th frame position and if, even if i do undo see it did not come back to this pose because it is not registered so this way it is very very important for an animator to keep this option turned on to save time to be more efficient and to be more productive because that is the correct way because that is something you have been given by the software you have to use it so now if i show you if i turn on this option auto key now whatever change you do it will automatically key every change so even if i go to eighth frame do any changes right if i do any changes you see here in the channel box automatically it will turn dark red dark red means you have changed something in that position see i am only translating so only translate things are getting dark red the moment i do rotation it will get here as well dark red you see dark red rotate also got dark red so that is how it works and auto key registers everything you see i did not put any manual key automatically it got registered if i go to 14 pose if i change some action see it is moving right so this is the right way of doing animation and this is the importance of this button which is called auto key make sure you turn this option on whenever you do the animation whenever you open a file the very first thing you have to see is is this button turned on or off make sure it's turned on so that you can save your time right and be more efficient i hope you understood the importance of this button and stay tuned for all the other tutes as well so i'll see you in the next video if you really like the video subscribe to my youtube channel for all the animation updates and i will see you in the next video take care and god bless